This is Twit. We've talked a lot in the past, like through the years, of about Clearview AI. Uh, they're the company, just to remind anybody, maybe who hasn't been listening for years, that decided what they would do is send bots out onto the internet, much as Google sends spiders. They would send their own bots out to, to collect images um, from publicly available social media, you know, crawl, crawling Facebook, crawling Twitter, crawling everything, and building a huge database of people's faces, which they would then, using other means, tie back to their location and their availability and build a big database. That's Clearview AI. And it's been a big hit uh, with law enforcement and governments and any entities that that has some need to identify people from photos. Okay. So Clearview AI has been in the news just recently. Uh, essentially, they've been fined by Greece's privacy authority, the Hellenic Data Protection Authority, the HDPA, for violating parts of Europe's infamous GDPR. The fine, which has been levied against Clearview AI by the HDPA, is a hefty 20 million euros. And what's uh, a little bit galling, even to me, is that it's not due to any use or abuse of Clearview AI's admittedly controversial facial recognition database technology. It's just because Clearview AI exists and Greece doesn't like the idea. And the GDPR gives them the right to fine Clearview AI over their conduct, even though there's no implication of its use. A 22-page decision demands that Clearview AI stop processing biometric data on individuals in Greece and said the company must delete all the data, that is all the pictures of Grecians, uh, it has already collected. The decision stems from a complaint filed by a number of privacy organizations which questions Clearview AI's practice of scraping selfies and photos from public social media accounts as a means of assembling its facial recognition database, which is rapidly growing toward well, actually, I think it's at a hundred billion, and their goal is. I mean, it's at, sorry, it's at ten billion, and they're trying to go to a, a hundred billion. Okay, now as we know, since we've been tracking this interesting edge case since they emerged a number of years ago, Clearview AI sells. It's in the business of selling its facial recognition tools to law enforcement agencies around the world, and has said they want to get to 100 billion images. It's also the case that Clearview has been at work in Ukraine, helping to identify both deceased Ukrainian citizens for the government and Russian soldiers so that families can be notified back in Russia in case they want to come and, and you know, pick up their dead Russian. The problem that Clearview AI faces surrounds consent. More and more privacy regulations are requiring consent. But Clearview's, you know, autonomous image scraping technology is inherently consent-free. What I thought was interesting is that while Greece's Hellenic Data Protection Authority has levied this hefty fine, Clearview AI has never, never, had any contact with either Greece's citizens or its law enforcement agencies. They simply share the same planet. Clearview AI said it does not have any, it does not have a place of business in Greece or the EU, 
and it does not have any customers in Greece or the EU. The company also claimed its product has never been used in Greece and, quote, does not undertake any activities that would otherwise mean it is subject to the GDPR, unquote. One of the several privacy groups which filed the initial complaint explained that the fine, the fine and the ruling made clear that the GDPR is applicable because Clearview AI uses its software to monitor the behavior of people in Greece. Even though the company is based in the U.S. and does not offer its services in Greece or in the EU. The privacy organization said collecting images for a biometric search engine is illegal, period. So one thing that made me just shake my head is that Clearview AI has made it clear that they're happy to steer clear of regions that don't want their services. Yet the Greek authority also ordered Clearview to appoint a representative in the EU, even though they don't want to do business in the EU and haven't and aren't, to enable EU citizens to exercise their rights more easily, uh, meaning I guess they would like someone local to sue, and so regulators have a contact person in the EU. Yeah, I, I don't blame Clearview for not doing that. So, you know, I don't mean to sound overly sympathetic toward Clearview AI, but this does sort of seem to be, I don't know, overreaching. All of the images it's collecting are public. Anyone can view them. Just like the web pages that Google crawls across and indexes, which allows us to later locate the information we seek. So it's clear that the difference is that pictures of people's faces are considered to be biometric data, even though faces are kind of public. You know, it's, it's considered biometric data by these regulators uh, and regulations and are not regarded any differently than fingerprints or DNA. You know, if someone followed us around, dusting everything we touched to lift our fingerprints, that would likely annoy us. The fact that Clearview AI's image collection is unseen doesn't render it any less noxious in the eyes of privacy regulators. One country after another is lowering the boom on Clearview AI. We previously talked about the UK's 7.5 million euro fine last May. Similar rulings have recently been made by France and Italy. And Austria is said to be preparing a similar ruling. So, uh, you know, it's looking like maybe uh, this U.S.-based company will actually only be able to operate in a country where its privacy laws do not exclude it from doing so. Because uh, we know that Illinois and their BIPA, uh, the state of Illinois, that's a problem because of BIPA, which is where some of the earlier suits have been filed. Uh, now we've got lots of EU countries doing so under the GDPR. So it's looking like the territory that Clearview AI is going to be able to cover is uh, is shrinking. And it look, it's actually looking like this is a fight it's going to lose.